Hi guys, so it's here, so it's back again with a new video. So welcome back to my health vlog, which is number 12 and the last health vlog for um June. Now, um, a lot has been happening over the last two weeks, you know. Most of it has been really stressful because of what I'm currently going through here, especially with my mum being so stressed out as well. Now, I can't go into complete detail until we have good news, and hopefully we will. Hopefully very, very, very soon, and I will make a video as soon as possible. So maybe within... Maybe, so this is a quotations, maybe it may happen or may not happen. Um, I will probably release it over the next week or two, depending on if we get good news and depending if mum will allow me to post it as well. But until we get good news, I can't tell you much more about it. But I have made a blog series dedicated to what's happening within those weeks and um. I'm currently up to week 6 now, which I put in with week 5 as well. So you will be getting videos when it comes to that as well. But let's talk about as well what has else been going on over the last few weeks. So this week we did lose a YouTuber. Um... Who has been experiencing a lot of um, mental health. If you haven't seen the drama for about a month ago. Um, I kind of forgot his name. But he committed suicide. And when I hear... An amazing person, especially on YouTube or someone who I follow, committed suicide. You know, it makes me very upset. And um, we got the news this week um, that his body has been found in the um, Manhattan East River. And you probably have already known by now. Um, Attica. That's the person's name. I apologize. And um, even though I wasn't a follower, I still felt heartbroken for his fans, his family, and his friends because I know what suicide can do to a person because I live with it every, every day. You know, having those voices in your head saying that you're not good enough, you know, that you're, that you're worthless, you know, that um, you should just do it just to get it over and done with, you know, and these other thoughts that always go through my mind, you know, and there's times when I have imagined, imagined myself, you know, ending my life, and I have. There's times when I have felt my arm throbbing, because of how I did in the past try to with my arm and it hurt and there's times when I can still feel it when I imagine that and um, the reason why I'm talking really slowly about this is because um, I want to acknowledge those feelings um, it makes me upset when someone does take their life because they have so many amazing people who try to help them and sometimes some people um how can I put this are not ready for help which is true with my ex transgender friend you know went went for a lot for four years and um, I tried so hard, you know, to be an honest friend, a true friend, and to help him out. But he wasn't in a great mindset. You know, he was around people with alcohol and with drugs, and which I tried to stay away from myself. Because I know that it isn't a great combination with me. And there's a lot of issues that he was dealing with, and I started to get the sense that he wasn't properly getting the help or he wasn't accepting the help, you know. And um, there's so much things I can go into detail about this, but I'm not going to. But 
what happened to Erica makes me remind me of my friend. You know, I know that he's doing great, which is excellent because I keep chatting with one of one of our mutual friends just to see if he's okay because there's times when I do miss him and I do and I worry because that's just the kind of friend that I am. So I'm getting emotional because um, I really care about my friends, especially when they're on, you know, a mental health journey like I am. And I worked to my ass off for eight years staying sober not going towards alcohol or drugs um in a very harmful way to myself and it breaks my heart that with the situation with Etika, with his family and friends and um especially the youtube community you know um we all been impacted by this and getting help has helped me you know if I didn't get help eight years ago, I would not be here. And it breaks my heart. You know, um, Kingstar, um, who is a great YouTuber, I mostly follow him for YouTube drama and news in our community. You know, he's already taken this pretty hard himself. And I'll link down below of it in the comments or in the description of his channel where you can look back at his um Ed, um, his Etika videos and um, even his interview which you should go and, and listen to because with what happened to Fuzzy Tube last year I was afraid something like this was going to happen and unfortunately it did and with suicide attempts and I'm, I'm going to mention this because this is very true we plan out our exit plan which is when someone is really going to do it. And I don't recommend anyone do this. And if you do feel that way, please reach out for help. And I'm saying this because even though I'm terrified of doing it. And I promised my counsellor when she left. That if it gotten that bad, I will contact Lifeline. Which I put all the um, Australian Australia links down below in the just just in the description and I'll try chucking it in the comments too and you can find help services even you know suicide perfection in your country as well so I highly recommend you all if you do feel like you're in such a bad place and that you want to please contact someone who you love and um try to get those thoughts out and I know that they're hard Go try and do something positive, you know. Go listen to an awesome podcast. Go watch some incredible YouTube videos, you know. Some that won't actually harm you. And make you feel a lot more worse than you feel right now, okay. That's what I want you to... That's what I want you to promise me right now. You will go watch an incredible funny video or movie. Go listen to an amazing podcast like Matthew Centauri, which I listen to his podcasts a lot. And um, go watch something funny on Netflix. Stand here if you're in Australia, you know. Go watch something that's going to make you feel better. Not something that's going to make you feel worse and go on to those feelings. Um, and that's just what I recommend, okay? So if you do... Please go sort out help. Remember, all of Australian links are all going to be down in the de description and including in the comments. So if you do feel that way, please contact someone who you love, friends, family, or even go on those links to go and talk to someone about it. Now, you can do it online too. Um, and that's what I recommend. Continu continuing now, because I nearly talk about this for almost 10 minutes. But, um, like I have said and mentioned, um, this month was my eight years in, in recovery and going to my first counselling meeting, which I'm so happy that I did it. And even though that this was the last session that I had with my counsellor the day afterwards, you know, um, made me realise how much I have so much strength within me. 
and into the people sometimes I rely on or not rely on and there's a reason why I do so much on my reflecting videos because it helps me doing YouTube helps me you know it's sort of mini therapy to myself and talking it through you know and I know with just the part that we just did it's very emotional for me because it's how I feel some days you know um next month will be a year that um we came to the news that Demi um had an unfortunate overdose you know and that really triggered me but she's great she's now working on a new album which makes me so happy and it's going to be her side of the story which will expire so much of our our Slovatics, which makes me happy for her and we're going to continue from there i have been working on my um fitness journey week 33 if you don't know i do post them on my instagram link down below and i'm proud that i am focusing more on me than what i can't control because if you focus on what you can control it actually can do wonders for you now I know this is a little bit of a big video, um, which it is, I want you to know that I'm okay, because that's very important, um, but I'm proud how much I've survived, how much I continue to survive, and I believe in every one of you who's going through so much hard depression, suicidal thoughts, or feelings anxiety and panic attacks because i do suffer from that too um possible eating disorders and mine has not been diagnosed which i'm trying to get it diagnosed but i'm always solving that especially with my sleeping patterns which have really been out of whack for all of this whole month but i'm solving it which is always a good thing you know i know this health vlog is a little bit of of a lot with everything that happened with um Attica over this whole week, it has really sort of stuffed up my head a little. But I'm focusing on the good things. I'm focusing on, you know, that I have almost recorded six videos. And this is on the Thursday. I'm actually, pre actually recording it just to make it more easier. I've done a new uh, makeup review with my colleague Cosmetics which there's a little preview you get that once i finish editing and going through those videos which is another lot of videos i have to do but to end this on a good night because i don't want these health vlogs to be too long i'm okay that's the main thing um, I just want to let you know as well, over two days, so on the Saturday and Sunday of this particular week, on my Facebook page, which of course is down below, I'm reflecting on all of this month's worth of posting, which I always do. i got to do some videos that I haven't posted on my Instagram just as yet, but that's where I'm going to leave it. Remember, if you are going through such a rough time to a point that you have considered ending your life i put all of the australian links all down below and remember search your country's name or where you're living and please contact a suicide prevention and talk about it or if it's online contact someone they're there without judgment they're there to help you and I would recommend going get a mental health referral and going to talk to a, a um, therapist, a psychologist, and even a, um, this had a train of thought, let's go. Yeah, my mind just went down, but that's okay. But anywho, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you all are, are okay. I know that was a lot to watch and take in. Um, but I meant to go contact your family member, your friends, and to breathe. 
other than that all of my social medias are down below including my website link link and all of my youtube series links are all down below annotations will pop up on a recent video that's been uploaded which a really special video is coming out on sunday which you do not want to miss and other than that i'm gonna go i love you all and i catch you all soon